Hey, what's up everybody? Tony here and just trying to get a little bit better today. Uh, and what we're going to talk about today are the questions we ask and what we think they mean versus what they actually mean and how the difference between the two could be the difference between getting what you're asking for, what you think you're asking for, um, and not. And so the example today is going to be from one of my favorite movies of 2014, That Awkward Moment. Uh, it's a rom-com with a bunch of guys that's really funny. And so Zac Efron is tr on his way to go ask a girl to you know, buy her a drink and meet her at this bar uh, when another guy intercepts and he says, hey, let me buy you a drink. Uh, there's this really interesting and funny uh, thing that happens where she says, ah, I don't actually want your drink. Uh, and he's like, why not? I'm just I'm asking if I can just get you a drink. And she's like, no, you're asking for a whole lot more than a drink. And then they create this hypothetical situation where a year from now uh, they're dating and unhappy and they need to get married. And, and so that's not the intention. The, guy, the guy's intention was to get her a drink, but it's heard and received in such a way that it doesn't land. It's unsuccessful. He cannot get her a drink. Or she doesn't let him get her a drink. And so uh, the takeaway for me in that, in that scene is what are we asking for and what are we actually asking for? And so uh, a lot of just today I got a couple emails uh, from various types of people. Some were in college, some were other entrepreneurs in New York. And the, the request is, hey, let's grab coffee sometime and talk about entrepreneurship and that is so nebulous it's so unclear as to what it is that you're asking for and what it is that you're you're gonna request that I almost don't wanna say yes and I'm not even a big deal like there are people that are big deals and when you make an ask for someone who is an actual big deal then all of a sudden you really need to get clear on what it is that you're asking for asking some sort of um, guru hey can I buy you a coffee and pick your brain is like the worst thing you can do because it's not what you're asking for you're asking to be a total time suck and so the two things that kind of stand out quickly are um, get really clear and really specific on what it is that you're asking for and then the second part is make it as easy as possible for someone to say yes and so if you can do those two things, if you can be clear on what it is that you're actually asking for and make it as seamless as possible, the chances of you getting the response that you want are, let's say, exponential. Um, and on top of that, you're creating the, the standard in the relationship, which is just like clear communication, clear expectations, uh, and that's always a good thing. So if you head either down below, if you're seeing this on the blog post uh, or on my website in the comment below, there's a link to the blog post. I talk about uh, two ways to actually get really clear on what it is that you're asking for and to remove friction from the ask uh, using specifically like can we meet, can we talk. Uh, and if that's something you're interested in, click through or you know, read below. Um, but yeah, just you know, be clear on the way that you're making an ask and realize that it probably has a lot more baggage attached to it unless you do the thoughtful thing, which is be very precise on what it is that you're asking for, what it is that help looks like to you. Um, anyway, until next time, be well.